Hey guys, so I'm just going to be doing a quick video on how to update your iPod hard drive from a disk drive to a compact flash card. So the first thing you want to do is remove the back housing of the iPod. There are a couple clips that you have to release in order to do so, but be careful when you're lifting it because there's a battery cable still attached to the back and the front. Not only is there a battery cable, but there's also another cable to the side. So once you've released your battery cable, be sure not to completely remove the back cover because there's still another cable attached to the motherboard. To access the cable connection, tilt the hard drive on its back. There's a small tab on the cable connection that you must tilt forward. Once you have done so, you may gently remove the cable from the motherboard. Now that the cable is removed, you may begin with the removal of the hard drive. You'll notice that on the hard drive connection, there's a tab similar to the one you released before. Pull this up and it will release the connection cable from the hard drive. Now you're going to need to attach your compact flash card to the adapter. I used the 16 gigabyte silicone power compact flash card. But be careful which compact flash card you buy because there's some compatibility issues with different flash cards. Now you can get the compact flash card adapter from eBay or AliExpress. Just make sure that it's the right adapter for your iPod. Next, align the connections on the adapter with the holes on the card. Push the card in slowly once you have aligned the connection with the holes. Once you have secured your card into the adapter, you may now connect it to the motherboard. Insert the ribbon cable into the connection on the adapter. Once in place, secure the connection by pulling down the tab locking the ribbon cable into place. Once you have secured the ribbon cable, make sure the adapter fits tight into the frame of the iPod. This will prevent any movement of the hard drive while in use. Next, you must connect the cable back onto the motherboard. Make sure that the cable goes into the connection all the way. Once it is in, push down on the tab to secure the ribbon cable. You may now secure the compact flash adapter into the housing of the iPod. Now that you've finished everything, you can close up the iPod. But before you do, make sure to connect the battery connector into the motherboard. It will now display a message on the screen when you turn it on saying you must connect to iTunes. So what you're going to need to do is connect it to your computer, open up iTunes, 
and restore the device to factory settings. Once you've done that, your iPod will reboot and it should look just as if you got it brand new from the store. Okay guys, I hope my video helped. If you liked the video, like, comment, and subscribe it. Thanks for watching.